guys, what's going on? Lila here, and I'm back with my book con recap. I'm gonna do a recap because I did not vlog. I'm a very socially awkward person. I have social... I, it's a newer thing that's happened in the last couple of years with the social anxiety thing for me. So, like, approaching everyone this year was very hard for me, but I did it. And I'm gonna explain that all throughout the video. So, I'm gonna start with explaining what happened on... Friday. So I didn't work on Friday because every year my boss puts me on for an evening shift and I didn't want that so I just took off. So I did all my laundry, I read, I took care of my dog. That was fine. Didn't really get a lot of sleep because I was just so freaking excited because like I was meeting everyone and like it was one of those days where I, my first year I really kind of went by myself. Saturday rolls along and I get there pretty early. I woke up at like 5 15 ish. And my dad took me to the train, and I met up with my friend Jess. I'll put everyone's uh, Twitter or uh, channel, if I have them, in my description, whoever I mention. And uh, she was a sweetheart. We talked all the whole, like, I think we were waiting for, like, two hours together online. I ended up meeting with my friend Crystal, who I met two years prior at BookCon for the first time, and we've been friends ever since. Um, we saw each other for a little bit. And then throughout the day, I didn't really eat on Saturday because I was super nervous. I was meeting Cassandra Clare for the first time, and that was very, like, I was shaky all day. And, like, I needed, like, that to, like, be done before I could really do the rest of my day. And that line, when I said it took forever, I felt like I was waiting on all these lines for, like, a million years. So I finally got up to Cassandra Clare, and I literally, all I said was, like, thank you for, like, your books, because I've been reading them since ninth grade, and, like, they literally helped me and saved me so much. And she's like, oh my god, thank you. And then she asked me who my favorite was, and I said Alec, because, like, that's the love of my life, and I love him so much. And I mentioned Simon as well, because he's the other love of my life, and I couldn't not mention Simon also. And then she brought up how, like, if she had to pick anyone, she would become a vampire. I was like, wow, me too like same like I just it was it was everything that I wanted it to be I just literally just needed to say thank you and then after that well before that I did my cousin signing I didn't really know who the author was I kind of was like here I'm doing this for my cousin and that was that and then after Cassandra Clare I had Lee Bardugo signing I'm going to show you uh Cassandra Clare though so I got Ghost of the Shadow Hunter Market. First of all, $27 for a fucking hardcover? I don't think so. I'm, like, so lucky I love you because, like, I would never, like, if I was at Barnes & Noble, I would wait till this was on paperback because, like, I can't, like, it's almost $30 on a book. Really? I already have Red Skulls of Magic, so I didn't want to get that one and have two copies of that because I already read it and I was just like, nope, but it's all about Jem and he's my baby, so I'm just, like, very happy about it. I think this was the one she personalized for me, though. No, this was not. So this was just her basic signing. Very simple. I feel like a lot of authors do that kind of like with just their like first letter and like whatever. And then I did my... A lot of people did this, which was a smart idea. I think they took the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones. And I got this one personalized. She said for Lila and then she signed it. And I thought it was very nice. I, wanted, I was going to ask her to draw the angelic rune because I do want to get it as a tattoo at some point. But I didn't because I was too scared. So that didn't happen. And then I had Libor. What did I have? I had something in between. I can't remember if I had something in between or not. But uh, I ended up having Libor Dugo signing. And uh, I got Shadow and Bone and Sage of Storm and Storm signed. And she was a sweetheart. I brought up that I listened to it on audio book and we started bragging about the. Uh, about the narrator because I loved her I honestly thought that she did the world so well like I was able to picture everything in my head like without realizing I was like reading like listening to a book so she did this one for me and she said my name she ended up saying my name at the end she was like thank you Lyle I was like I was so taken back because I forgot that my name was on a sticky note because I, I didn't say who what my name was I never do and then this one Pretty sure it was just, yeah, it was just her normal signature was on this one. And then after that, what did I do after that? Um, after Lee Bordugo, I had a break in between. No, I totally forgot. I met Tasha in the morning. 
the first thing I did, I'm like blanking what I'm, it's been a while, it's been a long weekend. I met Tasha in the morning, Tasha Paul is like, if you don't know her, I, what are you doing? I'll link her channel also below, because why? Um, she's a sweetheart, like always, I mean, me and her go back, like we started talking maybe last year? Are they, yeah, some point last year before the last, like last year's book con, like before that. Um, we started following each other and we just talk about like once all the time because monster reads, it's, it's just how it, it just, it, it happened. Um, no, it actually was back in 2017, I think we started, yeah, because that was the first time when she recognized me and she realized who I was. So yeah, that was a thing that happened. So she was sweet. I had her sign my journal. Oh, shoot. I should actually show you guys all of that. What they signed. Oh, so I had everyone also sign this. Uh, which I do every year. Which is one of those things where I just have like... It's a, it's a memory thing for me. So like I had everyone like sign it. And like I wrote that. Don't read that. Pretend not to read that. And then... I had a bunch of my booktuber... My bookish friends. Like Emma wrote that. And then like everyone just filled out the pages. Like it just worked out super well. And then... After Leah, I think I ate something at some point. I tried eating on Saturday, but, like, my... Just didn't happen. And then... I think I had Nicole and Yoon. I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name. I can't pronounce it for my life, the life of me. Um, I did that one for my cousin as well, but I also wanted a book for myself. Because I do want to start reading hers. I know her movies are... Like, the movies to the books are amazing. I watched everything, everything, and I loved it. But I never read it, so... I did want to uh, read this before I saw the movie. The Sun is also a star. And uh, she's so cute. She personalizes everything. And uh, she. I told her I was kind of doing it for my cousin more. And she was like, oh, that's so sweet of you. And it was, it was, really, it was really nice. And then that was pretty much Saturday. Oh, I ended up meeting up with a, my, an old friend. Her name's Nicole. And we've known each other for years. And she was there also. We met up. And her friend, she was with her friend Victoria, and we got food, and then we went head back to Penn, and that was my Saturday. Sunday, Sunday was the fun day. Sunday was when I was meeting all my internet friends and my favorite booktubers. Like that was the day where my nerves were just like blah, like everything just it just all happened so quickly. So Sunday starts. The first thing I had was Sasha Ellsberg signing. I love Sasha to death. I have not read Zenith, but don't tell her that because I... Between book slumps and just not having time, I haven't gotten to it yet. But it is on my TBR and I'm going to get to it this summer because the cover of Nexus, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I butcher that too, Nix or whatever. But the cover... The cover is so gorgeous. I'm just so obsessed with this color and the cover. And I'm just like in awe of it. I told her I started Game of Thrones because of her. Because her and JD, they watch it together. And she always posts it on her Instagram story. And I'm just like, I gotta watch this shit now. Like everyone's freaking talking about this show. I'm only on season two though. So I know what happens though because Twitter sucks. But oh well. But, uh, yeah, so I told her that, and, ooh, that all came out, and I didn't mean it to. I like that a lot of the signings that you went to, they gave you, like, some goodies that came with everything. So, she did that in mine, and I thought it was cool. My cousin ended up coming up with me, so it was a lot chiller than, like, going up by myself. And, uh, we started just talking, and, like, it was very easy. It was a very easy conversation. And then my cousin got her sign. And then at 12, I had the book explosion meet and greet. And I just got to say, I love those three to death. But Jesse the Reader, for some reason, I don't know when it happened. But I'm not the only person. But there was just something about Jesse that, like, m me and, like, there's... I don't know if it's, like, a connection. But, like, it's one of those things where he's just, like my positive light, I guess you can say, because I'm going through a lot right now health-wise, and, like, he's been the person that's, like, telling me to keep going and, like, keep reading. Like, I'm reading because of him and Emma books. Like, those are the two booktubers that really had me going with reading and making this channel. Like, you guys, like, I wouldn't be here 
if it wasn't for them. Like, that's literally how this channel started was because of Emma Books and Jesse the Reader. And Jesse and I have been talking on Instagram every now and then, and I've been keeping him updated with my health. I'm going, most likely going for heart surgery between this year and next year. And we don't know when exactly it's going to happen yet. So I have a, I have an appointment on the 17th. It's pretty important. I don't know if it's going to be one and we like determine everything or whatnot. But I'm definitely going to ask if anything's going to come from that. Because I do have Comic Con and Book Con next year. And I want to make sure that like I'm okay for these things. So that's really important for me. And he's just been like my positive light that's like been like encouraging me and like he's been there like I mentioned when my grandpa passed away like he's just been there and like he he barely knows me but I went up to them on Sunday morning that line first of all the thing started at 12 I didn't meet them till like 1 30 so there is that too and I was getting really antsy and annoyed and they took their time with everyone and it was it was great so I finally got up and I had Jesse's letter and I had this letter in my hand and it was with me yesterday because I ran into him on Saturday last year so I was making sure I just had it with me just in case but I didn't see him on Saturday um so I had the letter I felt super bad I didn't have anything for Kat and Christine but like it was just like I needed to give him this letter because if I didn't I would have regretted like laying everything out like I just I needed to and he totally understood so I hugged them all, I said hi, and I handed this thing to Jesse. I was only, like, literally, I felt like I was only paying attention to him, but, like, I just, I'm, like, I was just, like, I have to, I have to do this or I'm going to regret it. So I gave it to him, and I was just, like, I wanted to give this to you now, and just so that I can say thank you and, like, let everything out. And he was, like, no, I totally understand, like, thank you. And I don't know what he ended up doing with it. I wasn't really paying attention. I gave them all my journal to sign, so they were doing, the girls were doing something while I was talking to Jesse. And then I asked him if we could do a hugging pose. I didn't really know what I was supposed to do in the pose, so I kind of just stood there, like, I'm here. I'll post all the pictures towards the end. I'll do a little, like, montage thing. Um... And then we did a normal pose, and then we did a hugging pose, and they said thank you, and I left. And that was great. It was fun. I had my, uh, the BookCon clan, shout out to you guys, because I love you, and, uh, we did our meetup at 2.15, and everyone, like, I approached everyone, and I was like, is this for the photo at 2.15, and I think her name is Venti, if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm sorry if I butcher anyone's name, but... Uh, she was the one I first approached, and she was like, yeah, and I'm like, I'm Lila, I'm once to read, and everyone was, like, starting to realize me, and then I think Allie was her name, the one that, like, put it all together, if I really remember correctly, I'm literally gonna go through my journal, because she did write in my journal, and, uh, yes, Allie, she, uh, put it together, and, uh, she came up to me, and she was like, Lila, and I was like, yeah, and, like, it was the weirdest thing, because everyone comes up to you, and you're just like, wow, we're all human, like, we're all real, like, we're here, what, what is this? So then we all started saying hi, and my friend Emma was f finally there, and I kind of sneaked up to her, and uh, she hugged me, and I said hi, and then Tom ended up coming up. Uh, TJ Reads the Stars, I believe, is exactly his username. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, too. Yes. Um, I've been following him, I think, since he really started. I really think that's when I found him. I kind of, he was kind of came up on my newsfeed, and I was like, wow, I love him. I don't know why, but there's just something about him. Um, so I was like, oh my god, if he, if he's here, like, I don't even want to approach him. Like, I'm just, I was so nervous, and like, Emma's like really good friends with him, and like, literally, jur oh, well, first I said hi to him, and like, he realized who I was, and we hugged, and like, whatever. And that was great. And then he was taking pictures, and I wanted some, like, good pictures with him. But, like, I don't know if I'm ever going to see those photos, like, exist. But, uh, he said thanks for the photos. It was really awkward because Emma kind of just, like, dragged me to the... She was like, come here. And I was like, can you be in the photos? So it's less awkward. She literally didn't pay attention. And I was like, whatever. It's, it's happening. It's, this is what, what's going on. And we took the photos... Then I asked him for a few selfies because I knew those were the only things I was going to actually see. And he was like, of course. And, like, I also said, sign my journal. 
throughout the time and he was a sweetheart and I do love him. I love you, Tom. And I was meeting up with other friends and I'm sorry if I don't mention your names, but I will mention all your, your things down below. I don't remember everyone's names off the top of my head. Margaret, I think that's how you say her name. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how everyone pronounces their names. I apologize, but she was an angel. I ended up seeing her online for the Booksplosion meetup and we waved and we got really excited and then she came to the photo and we hugged and like screamed. It was great. It was one of those great things that like just happened. And then after the photo, I had, what did I ha oh, we had the, the panel at three. There were, there were some small booktubers were doing a panel. Went to that Jesse, Christine, and Kat were all sitting near me, and I was like, oh, I want to say hi to Jesse, but, like, he's not hearing me, and I'm not going to scream it, because then everyone's going to look, so I was like, I'm, I'm not going to do it, and the girl in front of me was like, I know, I'm trying not to freak out, I'm like, okay, me too, same, so, like, we all felt the same thing throughout the day, it was great, but the problem I had with BookCon this year is that the bigger booktubers do deserve some kind of security, or, like, at least a staff member with them, because, like, there was no security, and Christine, her book just came out this year. So, like, she was having a bunch of girls, like, came, come up to her to sign. And Jenna literally had to be like, yo, can you do this later? Like, it, it felt so bad for them. Like, they literally had no space of their own. So, that happened at the panel. I dipped out of the panel to get food so that before the meet and greet for later, for the rest of them, I wasn't, like, starving through it. The, first of all, that thing... Can we just talk about that? That thing was so unorganized, and I feel so bad for the booktubers that were part of it because there's nothing security wise. We were put in this giant room with tables and like a, a stage when it was just a meet and greet. Normally, it's in 1E03, which is the normal meet and greet room. I guess because this year there was just so many of them, they wanted a bigger, a bigger space. There was a lot of us that ended up turning up for it. So they were starting to call it table by table. And then all of a sudden it was like, just do what you want. You had five minutes left. I saw Tasha again. I just saw Spencer, uh, Common Spencer. I love him so much. He's like the sweetest angel ever. Um, I saw Emma. The thing with Emma was she did have a long line. And it was one of those things where I was really annoyed. I was like, I swear to God, they capped me out and I don't get to see her. Because like, this is like the only how many year I get to see her. And she was like, like I said, the first one that like really realized, remembered me and like, start like my friend in a way like so she was like come on guys we'll go outside after don't worry you're, you're gonna meet me don't worry so we all go outside and outside of the room and the girl in front of me was taking a pic gonna take a selfie and I was like do you want me to take it and she was like thank you Lila and I was like hey. like it's so weird to me that they know some of them know who I am and it's just like I'm a nobody like I'm literally no one so the girl takes her photos and I I go up to her and I don't know why but like I was I was shaking. I mean I met Emma how many times? Like I'm just like I don't know why it, it always happens to me, but uh I had her sign my journal. Then she was like, Do you wanna take a, an updated photo? And I was like, Yes. And I was like, like what a queen. Like she literally like knew exactly, like it was great. And, uh, after that, after that, I go upstairs. I go upstairs. Oh, my God. I'm going to literally start. Like, this is, this is it. This is the end. Uh, after, after I go upstairs, I see JD and Jesse talking. And I'm like, I'm going to stand here and be like, hi. Like, awkwardly, like, see what happens. So a few of us are starting to, like, circle around Jesse for a little bit. That Everyone's, like, ready to leave. Tasha says goodbye to him. And everyone looks exhausted at this point. And then, um, he sees me. Out of everyone that's, like, standing there, he sees me. And he, like, does this, like, little wave thing and, like, brings me into a hug. And I'm just, like, uh, I can't. Um, I think we, we obviously started with, like, hi, how, like, I think we started talking about the con as, at some point, and then he asked me how everything was doing, and how I was, and I was like, I'm good, I'm good, uh, and I mentioned how I had my appointment on the 17th, and he was like, please keep me updated, and I was like, I will, and it's in something to that effect, or me saying I'll keep you updated, 
then uh we uh we took a photo and then he uh he's like he was like I'll keep you in my prayers so, like you're you're like some it was like one of those overwhelming experiences where like I didn't expect it to happen this year because I never met him solo by himself so like I was like oh my god I get to like really talk to him now and I'm like I didn't know what I was saying and then all of a sudden I'm leaving I'm about to leave him I like I was like leaving the hug the second hug and I was like I love you <laughs> I was like, I love you, and he was like, love you too. Like he said it so like uncomfortably, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I don't know like why I said it, but like it just it just happened. And everyone I tell it to, they're like, no, like you're fine. Like he probably gets it all the time, or like, or like no, like it was sweet. Our mouth, like it was one of those things where it just happened. And like I was walking away thinking about like the whole experience and I was just like so overwhelmed and I was like, oh my God, I just like met him like on his own. Like I just kept looking at the picture of us and I was just like, this happened. So I'm out and then that was my book con 2019 and this video is over 20 minutes long, but that was my book con. If I met you, I'm going to put all the photos that I took or that we have at the end, I'm going to do a little montage thing because I failed at vlogging, like I said. But thank you guys for making my book on 2019 amazing because 2020 may not happen. But I just want to thank Tasha, Emma, Jesse, Kat, Christine, all of them, JD, all of them for like literally making it my, like, my dream come true. Like I'm getting choked up thinking about it, but you guys truly are like amazing and I do love you all so freaking much and I'm just so grateful for every single one of you. Even my booktube friends, like you guys, I would not literally be here without you guys. You guys keep me going and I'm so grateful. So thank you for making BookCon 2019 amazing and praying that next year happens. Till next time guys. Bye.